expected value is a mathematical way to use probabilities to determine what to expect in various situations over the long run. Expected value is used to determine premiums on insurance policies, weigh the risk versus the benefits in alternatives in business ventures, indicate to a player of, a game, of any game of chance what will happen if the game is played repeatedly. Standard way to compute expected value is to multiply. So here's the operation here. You have to multiply each possible outcome by its probability and then add, add this to the products. So the formula for expected value, this is like a predicted value. So you're trying to predict the value. Um, it's E of X equals the summation from I equals one here to N items. You have XI times the probability of XI. So probability of the item. So that's the formula. So uh, expected value again is like a predicted value. Uh, and here's the example. Find the expected value of for the number of girls for a family with three children. So three children. So here you're trying to like you're trying to get a table or have a table uh, so you will know how many possible outcomes so for no girls you will have a sequence of a boy another boy another boy so b here is a boy represents a boy and G would represent a girl. So that's for three boys here, no girls. For one girl, we will have a sequence of first girl and then the last two boys and then we can put girl on at the middle. That's another sequence. And we can put girl to the last also. That's another possible outcome. And then we have two girls. Uh, two girls would be first two girls. And boy could be the middle. Or boy first and then last two girls okay there are three girls that will be the last all girls here and you will have g g g so all girls so now if i'm going to count how many possible outcomes we have here uh, this is the first one second third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So we have eight possible outcomes. So the expected value E is computed by multiplying each outcome by its probability and then adding the products. So that would be the formula. Okay, so let's calculate that one. Our uh, expected value, the predicted value, E equals zero. No girls is zero times the probability, which is one over eight, because you have eight possible outcomes. 
then plus the next one one girl times you have three here uh, one two three so that would be three over eight plus again you have two now two girls times the probability you have three one two three so you have three over eight also and uh, plus you have three girls here times you have only one possible outcome for three girls so that would be three times one over eight okay and the answer would be uh, the first one is uh, zero you have a three uh, plus six that's a nine plus three is twelve twelve over eight and the answer would be 1.5 so that's uh, 12 divided by uh, 8 so the answer is 1.5 so this is the expected value uh, 1.5 again the expected value is 1.5 so this means that if we record the number of girls in many different uh, three child families the average number of girls for all these families will be 1.5 so that's what it means okay next example An automobile insurance company has determined the probabilities for various claim amounts to the nearest $2,000 uh, for the drivers ages 16 through 21, as shown in the table. Calculate the expected value and describe what this means in practical terms. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just multiplying and get the sum. So we multiply the items, so zero times this, and 2,000 times 0 0.15, 4,000 times 0 0.08, 6,000 times 0 0.05, 8,000 times 0 0.01, and 10,000, 0.01 here. And then you add them. So that would be our expected value or predicted value. So E here would be expected value. You have zero uh, dollars times point seven. Add that to two thousand dollars times point fifteen plus four thousand dollars times point zero eight. And the next one is plus six thousand dollars times point zero five plus next is eight thousand dollars times point zero one plus the last one is ten thousand. 10,000 times 0 0.01. Okay, and then we calculate. 
everything. Uh, 0 times 0 0.7, that would be 0. And 2,000 times 0.15, that would be $300. Plus, the next one is 4,000 times 0 0.08. That would be $320 plus the next one, $300 plus $80 plus $100. Okay, so adding all of them, then that would be our expected value, the sum of those products. 300 plus 320 plus 300 plus 80 plus 100. The answer would be $1,100. Okay, so what this means, this means that in the long run, the average cost of a claim is $1,100, which is the very least the insurance company should charge to have the break even. Again, the expected value here is $1,100.